The Lynx survive and force a game five. Another very close game in this best of five series. Man, oh man. I hope all of you, like me, hope there was going to be a game five because we just need more of this incredible basketball. I have loved every second of this series. So cutthroat, so engaging, so many quotes, awesome interviews. It's been all that we've needed it to be. And it comes down now to game five in New York. Series is tied 2-2. We'll head back to New York to crown the 2024 WNBA champions. It's the first time since 2019 that the WNBA finals have been decided by a game five. Ah, again, living to all the hype from this season. How did we get here? Game four was the tightest game we've seen in this series throughout all 40 minutes. There were 14 lead changes and 13 ties, a consistent back and forth. You could feel that both teams knew they had everything on the line and they were fighting tooth and nail to win. Now the Lynx were up one by halftime. Brianna Stewart, who came off of a terrific game three, dropping 30 points and getting the Liberty that win, didn't come out the hottest in game four. She was 0 for 8 to start. Didn't connect as much as she did in terms of knocking down shots consistently. She only knocked down 11 points, but she also had 11 rebounds, a double-double for New York. On the other side for the Lynx, I thought Courtney Williams was terrific in the first half, knocking down her shots, getting to her spot. She dropped 13 in the first half, finished with 15 for the game, and also seven assists for the Lynx. Now, we go into the fourth quarter. The Lynx are up one point. Final minutes of the game. Both teams are trading humongous plays. I mean, Bridget Carlton knocked down a three. Kayla McBride knocked down threes for the Lynx. On the other side, you had Jonquel Jones being big in the paint and knocking down and ones. Every time that New York plays great, consistent basketball, Jonquel Jones seems to me to be that common denominator. JJ finished with 21 points and eight rebounds. She was very assertive in the paint, which is what they need her to do in game five. 35 seconds left in the game. New York has the ball. They missed three chances at scoring the basketball and then had a shot clock violation. Sandy Brondello, head coach for the New York Liberty, said that she was trying to call a timeout at that time. She complained a little bit about the officiating and quite honestly said that she was pissed at it, hoping that it'll be better in game five and they'll be in New York for game five. So you hope that the officiating is better if you're the Liberty. There's a big foul at the end of the game. Courtney Williams going one-on-one -on -one with Benajah Laney Hamilton. She pulls up for a pull-up jump shot, misses the mid-range, but Bridget Carlton gets the offensive rebound, goes to tip it back, and she's fouled. Two seconds left on the clock. She heads to the free throw line, ice in her veins, knocks down both free throws. Now the Lynx are up 82 to 80. New York has the ball. Sabrina Ionescu takes a shot, but it's not like the shot that she took in game three to give them the win. Instead, she doesn't get it to go, and we're headed to game five. Now, what do both teams need to do in game five? Starting for the New York Liberty, to me, the key to their success is a balanced scoring attack. When Leone Fiebisch, who knocked down 19 points and had three rebounds and five assists in game four, when she can score the basketball, when John Quill Jones, who was also in double figures, can score the basketball, and Benija Laney Hamilton, you know what you're going to get from Brianna Stewart. You know what you're going to get from Sabrina Inescu. But it is about and company scoring the basketball. And you need to have a balanced scoring attack in order to force the Lynx to guard everyone on the floor. In order to force defensive rotations, everyone has to be dangerous with the basketball in their hands for New York. On the other side for the Lynx, for me, it starts offensively with them taking care of the basketball. They cannot afford to go to New York in game five and turn the ball over more than 14, 15 times. They cannot afford to turn the ball over 20 times because New York will make them pay. And then they must defend without fouling. I felt that the Lynx sometimes throughout the course of this series have fouled a bit too much, have committed too many and one fouls, and have put the libs on the free throw line. Again, you, can't, you cannot allow the Liberty to go to their home court and get to the free throw line 20 plus times. So if you're the Lynx, you have to defend without fouling and defend the paint like your life depends on it.
my game five prediction. I have been saying links in five since we started this series. So, you know, I'm going to stay true to it. I think links in five. I think that the coach of the year and Cheryl Reeve and four time WBA champion can come up with enough scheme, uh, enough direction and lead her team to a championship in New York. I think this is the time in which we see Nafisa Collier bounce back. A really interesting element of this series has been Brianna Stewart and Nafisa Collier guarding each other. I felt like in game Game four, we saw where both players just really couldn't get it going. Uh, Brianna Stewart was five of 21 from the field. Again, only 11 points. And then Nafisa Collier, she was four of 10 for 14. Maybe one of the deciding factors in game five is which superstar can outshine the other. If Nafisa Collier can outshine Stewie, does that mean that the Lynx are going to win? If Stewie can drop another 30 ball, does that mean that the Liberty are going to win? I don't know, but it's the game inside the game that I'm curious about. Man, again, I hope we all wanted to see a game five because I just want to continue to see this high-level basketball. It is one game left to decide who will be the 2024 WNBA champion. The Libs are on the brink of getting their first championship in franchise history meanwhile the Lynx are looking for a record leading fifth championship in franchise history cancel all your plans sunday we have a championship to watch